Hello, and welcome. My name is Orite underscore odd, and now everything else is laggy for me. Great. Now, I've, from, I know it just came out, but it, I just want to save some of my tips on what you should use. So first, I would say this may hurt your eyes, yes. But this is recommended if you want to use special tiles as some sort of a template. As in, something you would use as a guide for you, so you can figure it out later. Like, for example, I might want to erase this here, and then make these two rooms. You see, what I've done is, I made purple completely empty, that's why it's my background. Red is the walls, and blue is kind of the walls, except they outline the rooms. And they're what guide the room gateways, kind of. And the green, well, we're not so sure about green yet. Maybe it could be props, whatever you want to be. I... Don't know, and it's not very useful information for that, but there is one thing I want to tell you for sure that's very needed to know. Ignore that, by the way, and that is this. See how I'm walking onto the thing? So I've done a trick where you cannot physically walk onto the thing until you have started the game. This is for those who want to make a lobby, but want to make sure those people who are in the lobby can't physically go to the map until the game has started, which is in this case, the triggers will be a big advantage here. Because there will be a secret portal right here that will be transforming the target by the trigger. Once the trigger is activated, it will then tell the target, figure out the target of what this thing's supposed to go to, which will teleport you to one of the invisible portals I placed down. There is one more I want to show. One more that would be very useful. That's where this part will come out soon. I now must edit this part to... Well, let's just skip the part to where I get to the thing and ignore all the loading. Okay. So, now we are at my map. My other one that I've actually done for the first time. That's why you see that, but no trigger. So, there's this is not a fake portal. That It's just that there's no trigger right here. Because if there was a trigger, well, let's ignore that. Oh, wait, hold up. I gotta hit the start game button. This is very important. But I made a chat machine where you can chat through. Now, I pretty much have it hidden, and I use the camera view thing to do it. Do I need the. Yes, I will. No, I won't. The thing's messed up. No, I fixed it. Uh, okay. Well, thank god, I think I made this a spam clicker. Yes. So, let's just click the close button there. And then just buy the wooden one. And then get the thing out. As I go over here to the walls, which, by the way, this is a game mode that was supposed to do where you just smash stuff. That's great. Don't make the tip what I just did. That's a very awful idea. Don't do what I did. Okay, so if I'm corrected down here, there's a secret room. Wait, so this is very unnecessary to get the one. God dang it. So I will have to go over here. It says text here. I just didn't set up the text yet. And then... Sorry. I am sorry. That's what it says. You can make it well or where people can talk to each other. And I think I have a few other ways on how you can talk to them. I will show you the code because this uses a little bit of the scratch code to make something like that. But first, there's another secret I made. And this is why I added a camera view thing over there so that you cannot physically see this. Because you can't see past a camera view uh, device. This is what makes a big advantage about secrets, or one of the big advantages. So I found out things, and I made a joke here where you go sniffing shells. Mmm, shells. And as you do, you have this. It's... Not... 
what it looks like. It's not what it looks like. Now, I think I can expand it further with more buttons, but in order for to do that, I think I have to use, like, one whole block thing. For now, I'm going to think of making some weird type thing where you don't even have to press the buttons. You just have to press the buttons. Or I can make some sort of form of a keyboard with the triggers, which would be a very funny joke, by the way. Just imagine a keyboard you can walk over, and then there's this reset button here where you have a button to click clear, and then it just clears everything. That'd be really funny. Just imagine a whole game where you have to do that, but you have to walk onto the keyboard buttons. Just imagine walking key typer. Where you have in order for to play, you have to answer questions to move around. But at the same time, you have to use that moving around to click the keys on a keyboard. I'll keep them a little spaced apart, but it'd still be pretty hard. That'd be pretty funny though. I would probably just think of the idea of making sure it'd be able to be possible to miss some of the buttons on purpose, but still make it to where it's pretty tricky. Anyway, wait. Right, I forgot I can do that. Let's click the end game, and let's just pause it so you don't have to see me run all the way back over here. Alright, I am back. You know what I realized? I completely forgot this is supposed to be a vent, as you can tell. This is very sus. If you can get that reference from what I'm saying. Um, so, this is the code I use. The buttons themselves, when buttons pressed, transmit it on. Well, you just gotta make sure they, for one, you can only have a limit of six for one computer. If you just want to use scratch blocks. And no, don't focus on the television, but on the text of the television. Go to blocks, and you'll see this. And it, you need to click on the when existing receiving on channel. And each and every one of these buttons is this. So if I click on 01, then you'll have sex text to its. This is the very most simple version. I wouldn't re really recommend it as much, but I think you can expand it further. Just not with the transmit this time, and more like when it's receiving on channel. This time it uses variables, which I will do in the future, and it'll be a little more complicated. Anyways, that's some of the tips I can share and some of the things I know so far that might help you out in the future. So there you go. You're welcome. And I will try to figure out more. Sure, this may not seem like much to many of you guys. I mean, it just came out. But I wanted to show something. So if y'all found this really useful, there you go. Anyways, you're, dang, you're diggly darn dang welcome.